Drive Tribe is dead, uh, sorta. According to a shocking announcement shared on Monday morning, uh, Drive Tribe is shutting down uh, many of their different sort of arms into the automotive community. Uh, we have the full story today. And the reason why we're talking about this is because the circumstances for why it appears that Drive Tribe is shutting down are baffling to me in a number of different ways. I sort of expected in some others, but just one of the weirdest, uh, uh, bummerish stories that I have heard in some time. Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. All right, so we're going to jump right into it, guys. We're going to jump over to the Drive Tribe official statement first, and then talk about some of the bigger bullet points that the Drive uh, picked up on this. And the entire thing just seems really unfortunate, and I want to say relatively avoidable when we get to some of the nitty gritty numbers. Um, so on Drive Tribe's website, Dear Drive Tribe Community, the end of an era for Drive Tribe and the beginning of something new. Uh, Dear Drive Tribe Community, over the past five years, uh, we've had huge fun getting to know all of you and sharing in the adventures and ideas of this great global community which has grown far beyond our expectations. Uh, for many months, we've been facing significant industry challenges which unfortunately are not going anywhere. The protracted global shortage of computer chips has caused a number of challenges for the automotive industry. By the way, we've been talking about that for months. Uh, it is definitely a big deal and led to severe reductions in marketing budgets across the industry. This has made for an incredibly difficult operating environment for businesses like ours, which are dependent on advertising. So that's a little weird. Um, I can attest that advertising, you know, at least for YouTube, uh, was really, really down during the initial months of COVID uh, and throughout the, the chip shortage. Um, but, you know, at least for YouTube, ad rates for my channel in particular uh, rose to all time highs at the end of 2020. So that's kind of a weird uh, statement. I've talked to other people in the industry as well, uh, at least in terms of YouTube ad rates only for the automotive industry, sky high, amazing stuff for a lot of the people that I talk to and talk about on a regular basis. Uh, we therefore, unfortunately, will be bringing the Drive Tribe and Food Tribe websites and apps and the business behind them to a close at the end of this month. So everything is shutting down in January. Uh, but there is a bright spot here. Uh, in case you love their YouTube channel and some of their other social media uh, sort of arms. Uh, however, we are delighted that Richard Hammond will be keeping the Drive Tribe community alive through our social media channels, which will remain very much in action. Richard is excited to share with you uh, more about his new projects, including his smallest cog workshop. Uh, Jeremy and James will be with him every step of the way and may even make an appearance from time to time. God, I would really hope so. Um, I honestly felt like the best parts of Drive Tribe uh, were the reaction stuff from that original team uh, with Jeremy Clarkson and James May and Richard Hammond. That's what I feel like was the best part of Drive Tribe and what most people in the automotive community I saw get excited about on a week to week basis. And honestly, I felt like they could have done a lot more in that area to continue pushing revenue on the YouTube side. Uh, and it really doesn't cost that much in terms of an operational standpoint. We do have statements here from uh, all the individuals here involved, uh, the original team, uh, Jeremy Clarkson saying, we're all really disappointed in the challenges of the industry, not in the least helped by the ongoing pandemic, uh, has simply made it impossible to continue uh, with the business in its current form. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what Mischief Hammond and his team get up to as they take the channels and the community forward. That actually sounds like he's not going to have as very much to do with it uh, as Richard Hammond is. Because um, he's sort of talking about it from an outsider perspective. So maybe we're not going to see Jeremy Clarkson and James May as much on the YouTube channel moving forward. And maybe it's going to be more Richard Hammond. Uh, James May talks about it being a crying shame, talking about all the brilliant writers and bloggers, but unfortunately it's a business and all that, you know, people get messed up by uh, the global economy and the pandemic and all that kind of jazz. You know, even Richard Hammond, he sort of says the exact same stuff in his first sentences and then says there's never been a more exciting time to talk about the industry as we deal with these hugely challenging market forces and rapid evolution of what we mean by motoring. Come and join me on the channels along with lots of familiar Drive Tribe faces as we, as we continue to keep the brand alive and the conversation going. They talk about how disappointing it's going to be uh, and guidance for people that have put up content on the Drive Tribe channel over the years. They don't have very much time. 
uh, to make this right and make sure they don't lose their content. Now, uh, next guys, we're gonna jump over to the Drive article because some of the stats that the Drive uh, has sort of picked up about this are a little bit baffling to me. Uh, and many of you guys might not know this, uh, but I used to work in the sort of the website world. I used to run some massive websites and some of the stats that the Drive gives about Drive Tribe and how they are shutting down and how much money they've lost kind of blow me away. Um, so they say, you know, Drive Tribe is finally shutting down for good. Um, the first couple paragraphs are just talking about exactly what we just talked about a second ago, uh, just discussing like how bad the global market is, all that kind of jazz, uh, core revenue streams, advertising going down for them. But their next paragraph uh, just kind of blew me away. So in 2018, and I didn't know this, uh, Drive Tribe apparently announced that it had lost $16 million in two years of operations. That is a bafflingly large number for what should not be an incredibly uh, costly enterprise to produce. Hollywood Entertainment site Deadline reported on Drive Tribe's potential sunsetting in December of 2020 and noted that the platform had hoped but failed to be profitable that year. Uh, unfortunately, its aspirations were crushed when the pandemic hit and the platform continued to run on fumes despite a successful round of fundraising earlier that year. The site actually had approximately $3 million in cash reserves that it deemed sufficient to keep the lights on for 12 months. And I wanna say that was in December of 2020, uh, or no, no, or December 2019 rather. Now, just over a year later, uh, or no, that would have been December 2020. Uh, the site has announced the official shutdown. They are just burning through cash, or rather burn through cash at an absolutely crazy rate. But here's what blows my mind the most. Drive Tribe Chief Executive Officer Jonathan Morris said at the time that the social media platform had approximately 140 million monthly users across its various channels. I don't know how to put this. If you're able to do 140 million views across your various channels, if you're not making bank at that point, um, you're doing something incredibly wrong. Um, at the height of my time in the website world, I'm not gonna get too much into it, um, I, I regularly ran websites uh, that had between 60 and 80 million views a month. Um, so not 140, uh, but 60 to 80 million views a month, definitely nothing to sneeze at during that period of time. And we were, so incredibly profitable, even in lean advertising months. Um, and it's because we kept a, a smaller team in place and didn't have like bloated salaries all over the place. And we were able to keep that site going for a long, long time before I eventually sold out of it. it it's just crazy to think that they could generate this many monthly users. Um, and I don't know if they're counting YouTube in there, uh, but I wanna say that their YouTube numbers um, are still pretty impressive by itself. We'll get into that in a second. Um, but man, like how do you have 140 million users and are not able to be profitable unless you're just paying absolute insane amounts of money to everybody working on your site? Um, I don't know if they could have gone freelance or something with this, but if you're burning through money with those kind of monthly user numbers, you're doing something incredibly wrong. So I decided to pull up Social Blade to look at how their Drive Tribe YouTube channel is going. Uh, 488 uploads, 2 million subs, 313 million video views. Um, so right now, on an off month, they're doing four and a half million views. Um, they should be making a pretty good chunk of change at this point, um, as long as they're keeping their costs down, which if it's any sort of basis of what's going on, they're definitely not. But maybe the content on the Drive Tribe YouTube channel is going to change in some regard. Um, they were still, although you can definitely see a downward trend here, um, I mean, like some of their higher months, 16 million, 23 million, but just sort of generally going down over time. Um, but then, none of these are bad numbers, like six to seven million views, 10 million views in November of 2021. Those are excellent numbers for an automotive channel. They, they should be making, I would imagine, well into the six figures here if they're monetized properly um, with what they've got going on here. I, I would hope so with, with 10 million views. Um, but man, like at least they're gonna continue their YouTube channel going forward. 
Um, I'm glad to see them do that. Maybe it'll take on like a more authentic, uh, less high production uh, sort of flair to it, but uh, what a what a bummer for uh, Drive Tribe as a whole. Anyway, guys, Drive Tribe, uh, pretty much gone on the website form and everything else, uh, keeping their YouTube channel and some other ones, so maybe it won't affect you all that much. I'm curious how many of you guys went to Drive Tribe's website in particular uh, over the last couple of years? Was it a regular visit for you whenever you jump on the computer? Uh, did you favor it over like Jalopnik or the Drive? I'm very curious to know sort of where you guys are on that. Uh, I don't mean to beat up on them, but you know, 140 million views a month, that is an absolutely crazy number. If you're not able to be profitable at that point, uh, restructuring or something should have happened along the way, uh, cutting costs somewhere. Um, it's just a real bummer for them. I'm not trying to like, you know, go after them or anything like that. It's just, it's a bummer to see uh, so much, uh, you know, excitement and potential for a website just be flushed down the drain because of high costs. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. The big headline of the day. Uh, yeah, covered and done. Have a great rest of your evening. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. That's all I got. Bye.